definitely it is. First time in Europe. Asking some crappy questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've never been to Europe before. It's the first time. Uh, and, and what do you think of it? For a day in in England, it's been good. I think it's been very good. Sure, yes, sir, it's been good. So if it continues the way it has, it's been very good. What's what's the response been like in in Europe? Most of the shows have been really good. There's been a couple of shows that were. It's been really good. Good shows. Everyone's been really hospitable and stuff like that. Have you played with any good bands? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we played yeah. basket bands. Uh, I played a good band from Sweden called Life. Norway. 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 Oslo. Life, but had a little bit really good. It's the first uh, one that comes to mind every time. I think Joyce McKinney's is pretty good at that. Yeah. Um, mm. Who else? Where? Who else? Mm. MDC were pretty good. I didn't think I'd. I never seen them before. I came here. And I was surprised that I actually liked them. I don't know. The Ewings, I thought, were pretty good. Ewings. Yeah, Ewings. But as we've seen so many bands, it's getting it's becoming a blur right now. Yeah. Last, we've been here about four or five weeks so far. How, how come it's taking you so long to get over to Europe? Mm. Never had the opportunity, haven't had the time or the money. Yeah. It's like, there's, there's, there's been bands going to like the continent now for you know, five, six years. Yeah, now we're caught up in the rush. Yeah, it seems like every, there's so many bands coming over now. Yeah. Even Subverse from Canada as well. Yeah. And I can uh, get Griffin Pigs to me. I don't know. I guess we just someone we just got a, someone asked us to come over if we wanted to do the tour and get that other thing and say. Sure. They financed it for you to no. come No, she just they said just someone booked it and we paid for our tickets and our plane tickets and we had to ship all our stuff over and stuff for that type of thing. Yeah. Are you still without a, a record there? No. No. We have a new record. We recorded a record in June and it should be out. In, it'll probably be out at home uh -huh. this month, yeah. and it'll be out in Europe next month, sometime. Uh, what, what's, is, is, is there another strange title for this, this next one? Uh, it's called Better Than a Stick in the Eye. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's strange. strange. <laughs> is it strange? Strange. I don't think the last record, record everyone thought the last record, record was... What, what's, <laughs> what's the story behind the title? I stole it from these friends of ours playing a band in Edmonton and uh, the, it their bass player was in a music store looking at <laughs> equipment and the guy asked him what kind of bass he played. He goes, oh, I play a Fender Mustang. And he goes, well, it's better than a stick in the eye. But, uh, and, we, and they kept saying it ever since and then we started saying it. So. Yeah, so it doesn't sound rude though. Not to me. Oh, no. In Canada, we say that all the time. It's like a catchphrase. Yeah. But anyway, it says it. What's, what's the story behind the if you swear you'll catch a little fish? That one? Well, actually, uh, Chai went to a, a restaurant and he got a fortune cookie. And that's what he had for the fortune the cookie. And he was making a gig flyer up that week and he just put it like on the side. And this was kind of like a little small thing. And that was like in 81 or something. And then like four years later when they were doing, putting, think of, thinking of the record and trying to think of a title and stuff, it was on the poster. And, uh, oh. Yeah. Use that, so it was originally for a fortune cookie. Yeah. <laughs> Probably bored to death with this one, but what, what does the name stand for? Stand for? It doesn't stand for anything. Hey, your rec place. Just because you asked that question, it was the correct place. Okay. Um, what's the stand for? There's a, a military term, SNAFU, S N A F U, which is system normal fouled up. And that's where we took it from. It's also just a word. That's how the word the word came from. It's like if something snaps or something is like screwed up or something. Yeah. Oh. So Why did you take the A out? Because there's another band called Snappy. There was a band, band, yeah. But that's not why. We just took it out because mm -hmm. the hell of it. Because we thought we'd be we thought it was real tricky to do that, but uh, mm. it was really just actually it was stupid. Three years later we realized it's not that tricky. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's what's what are some of your musical influences and have they changed? Musical influences? Mm. Yeah, they change since I mm. started so listening to music. Started, I, <laughs> I mean, they, they have different influences. Oh, now. definitely, because we've been playing for a couple thousand years, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, like I said, listen to different music. But well, no, your your influences never change. Your, your taste in music changes. Well, it changes. Change it changes because there's new bands coming around and new things, right? Yeah, and that way it changes. Mm. I guess it maybe doesn't change. Just kind of builds on. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, that's it. You win. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. What are some of your personal favorite bands? Personal favorites? That's a tough question. I like a lot of bands. Um, Name drop. Uh, personality Crisis from Canada is always like to be one of my favorite bands, always. Um, mm, they, like, like, they were the best band in the world until they broke up. I like Metallica a lot. Uh, I like them too. Uh, I like uh, Solar Silence. Solar Silence is a cool band. Um, yeah. That's it, those are the bands I like. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. But there's so many bands I always forget about. Them. No Means No from Vancouver. No Means No. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Earle. I like stuff like that. I like well, what about George Bush? George I Bush. don't like any of his records. <laughs> <laughs> uh, George Bush? I like his <laughs> <Bing. Yeah. laughs> does, does, does the president in America <laughs> affect like, what's happening in Canada? Well, I guess the American America does have a huge influence on on Canada, right? Because we're such a little country right above the country. So, uh, but they don't, you know. Lots of people th say that America and Canada are all the same thing. It's no more different than Switzerland or Germany, I guess, right? But as George Bush, I don't like the guy. <laughs> Definitely. Do, do you know neighborhood watch? They can't say anything about me. <laughs> Why are they saying something about us? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what to sell time. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't know. Simply think of hamsters. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about straight edge? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. It's fine. If that's, I mean, if that's what you want to do, it's great. Yeah. I, we're, not, we're not a straight edge band. Chai doesn't drink or... It's mm. like drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just into self-control. I mean, you should be able to do what you want to do without coming and, and like, uh, and fucking interfering with other people's lives, you know. I mean, when people start drinking to, to the point where it starts interfering with other people are doing, then it becomes a problem. I mean, there's nothing wrong with drinking or smoking drugs or anything. Yeah. Just a personal thing, right? What's, what's the nuclear industry like in Canada? Pretty small compared to here. <laughs> yeah, they're every. We look everywhere. It's like these nuclear reactors everywhere. Besides the free. Yeah, yeah, I can think of like two I've seen in Canada. I think there's only a couple in Canada. But they make them and sell them to uh, other countries as long as they don't use them to make weapons, nuclear weapons and all. Of course, they took it by itself. But they have uranium weapons and Saskatchewan and stuff. Well, what are your views on sexism? I'm against it, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. It. It's definitely something that this world doesn't need, and it's a problem that screwed up a lot of people, right? Yeah. I mean, DRI have had a lot of bad press over here, anyway. Because they were sexist. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, I've only met them once, and I'm not going to defend them or anything. The best. I think, well, sex is it because of sex them in their, in their lyrics, or just the way they. It was one of their quotes, weren't it? No, something like, they, said, they, they said something, it was like, the best thing about being a metal band, is in the punk band, is you get to fuck all the nice metal sluts, as opposed to all the ugly punk sluts. That's not the joke. Yeah. That was a joke. Yeah, Maybe it was, I don't know. There's something in the style, which is a daily newspaper, about them uh, saying, lock up your daughters, because it's a DIY. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to shut the door, man. Yeah. Well, that's no problem with us. It is sure. Why, what, what's uh, the press of the band line? Yeah, the president? He's Mark. He's Mark. He's he plays guitar. He's Mark. He's Mark. He's Mark. He's Mark. He's Mark. He's Shy Pigs, this singer, kind of vocalizing kind of guy. And uh, tends him on drums and prayer of his. Yeah. Is uh, Shy Pig opposed to interviews? Because he, he refused uh, to do this. I don't know. It depends if you get him in a good mood or not. I, no, so yeah, I think a lot of it, he gets so much in the limelight from the band. A lot of time in the last few years, so let's go. But he does do something. So do, do you think that being from Canada as opposed to the States, you've had a hard time getting where you are now? No. Because I don't, a lot of, I mean, what, with our band, it's all come from hard work and us getting, getting up and doing it instead of waiting for something to around, right? No band's gonna get anywhere if you don't work out. I mean, it's hard to it's engineer and music we're doing, but it's hard to get anywhere unless you work. Like, you gotta go out and tour. You know, and get anywhere. That's a good problem. You gotta do, like, when we're at home, we do it well. Not all of them, but we 
quite often. At first, we always did our own shows, like we get the hall, we have to book a hall, and get a PA, and do it all ourselves. So we have to start like that. any racism or violence in, hey. in the Canadian scene? Uh, in the Canadian scene? Not really. Scene? Only once we ever encountered in Ottawa. So it was one guy that was calling yeah. Canada East Indian or something like that. He's calling <laughs> an Indian. <laughs> they were just calling him an Indian. They said he should yeah. get off the stage or something. Yeah. He's like, yeah. 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 But when, when you, you get around, oh, in Florida, there's oh, there a lot of in Florida, like oh, over there. Uh, uh, racist cool. school that's down there. So. Yeah. But they were just wanted something. They just, all they wanted was an excuse to punch people in the face. I think that's all they wanted. So, but they were racism was an excuse to punch people in the face. It mm -hmm. sucked. Well, since since you formed, approximately how many gigs have you done? About five hundred. Five hundred? I don't know. As when we when we were done this tour, we would have played about five hundred shows in over a hundred different cities. About one hundred thirty cities. I think fourteen countries. 14? 14 countries. And we still make a living off of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a record. Well, have, have you achieved your ambitions as a band? Obviously, you must have No, I don't think so. I, cause not, I don't really have any ultimate goal. I think I live it like every day, you know, to kind of take it one step at a time kind of thing. Yeah, the whole idea, so. the idea of the band when we started wasn't to like. wasn't really to get to a certain point, like get to the point where we could do our double live album and whatever. In it was just like, we, let's, let's do this, like we started doing it because we were bored, you know, we just started making a band because it was fun, and it's still fun, and we just kind of like, let's see how far it can go, you know. It's taken us to Europe, we've been around North America two or three times, and uh, that's good. You know? yeah. We just keep doing it because it but hasn't we got to the point where we're losing money or we're, like we're going to play now and like, two people come out. It's like we're getting more popular, so. Yeah. It's like when we started out, we never, I don't think we would have really considered us going to Europe and putting out albums and stuff like that, but I never really even looked that far ahead of it because I guess I never do. <laughs> no. But in the future, I guess we just want to keep putting out records and writing more songs and playing more shows. Well, you, you did a cover version in the soundtrack. Is that in the set as well? Uh, sometimes. sometimes. We play a different set every, well, kind of different set. But well, that's, when, yeah, that's on the next record. So. Why, why pick that one? I don't know. I wanted to do it for some reason. So you brought it in. And we started playing it, it was cool. It's, it's just been top 10 or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah as we found out just after we were we, used, we recorded it. Now. It is that is really cool. That's not why we did it though, because we actually started playing our five Yeah. Uh, what, what's, what's next move then for SMF? Yeah. Next move? London tomorrow. It's not you Oh, okay. Well, we'll probably, I don't know, well, we've got the album coming out next month. And we'll probably go home and just play around Western Canada for a while. And then we'll do, take, take a couple months off and you know, play, just play a few shows. And then we'll do a big tour of North America. Maybe start working on a new record after that. Maybe come out and work on coming back here next year or something. I don't know. I don't know. Is there anyone in the band work? Anybody work? Yeah. We all, we all basically work. Actually, this is the first lineup where everyone's actually worked. Yeah, it's the first time that at one time it, that every single person in the band had a, a job. Except for that was only lasting for what, two months. Do you have to have that job to finance? 
Well, but basically, the van pays for itself, but we I need to uh, have to work to eat and pay the rent, basically, right? We don't, the money that we make basically goes to back into the van, and uh, we have our jobs to, to support ourselves. Do, do the mounted police and always get their money. Do what? The police? The mounted police. Oh, the mounted police. Do they always get their money? I don't think so. What do you mean by it? Are they being homosexual? I don't know. Yeah. 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 No, that's not well hung at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what he's kind of working around. Right? We've got a few speeding tickets, I guess, for him. Yeah. Those horses go <laughs> real fast. <laughs> yeah, they go fast. Is that got anything being that hung at all? Speeding tickets. Well, they don't ride horses anymore. They have Mustangs. Turbo Mustangs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If if you had your head pushed down the toilet, my hat, your head, head, if your head was forcibly pushed down the toilet, which showbiz personality would you most likely attract? Oh, pushed down the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Which showbiz personality would you most like to have used it last? And why? <laughs> it's a silly question. It's like, a serious question. Your head pushed down the toilet yeah. and flushed with a flush tube. No, no. Like. Right, put your head down the toilet. Oh, okay. What, what showbiz personality would you like to have? It had dress tire tracks on the bottom. Oh, Madonna. <laughs> toilet, yeah. I'd want all the bangles simultaneously. Yeah. 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 Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> why? Well, I don't know. It's a stupid question for a stupid answer for a stupid question. I just said sexy turns. Hey, the bad brains are playing tonight. Right on. Showbiz personality. That's a crazy That's the first thing that popped into my head. Perhaps this goes back to your childhood. Are you autistic in the general? Oh, that's what she was like. How did you do it at school? I didn't even finish school. Did you do well at school? Did you do well? I did well enough to get by. I did well enough to get into university and then. I went to university for a couple of years and I just did good enough to pass and you know, that's why I quit. <laughs> oh. I had one year left in university and I just kind of Yeah, because this leads on to um, any embarrassing personal <laughs> situation. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, perfectly embarrassing ones. Personal diseases. <laughs> any, any of us enough here? Uh, no. Oh. Embarrassing, you know, more embarrassing than that. I had a embarrassing had got scabies somewhere on some tour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was the most. That was pretty embarrassing. I thought it was just like dry skin. <laughs> that's what you get for That's what you get for buying used skin. clothes, I guess. You yeah. know, <laughs> nothing genital though. Nothing yeah. else ever. In general, though. <laughs> general. Uh, in general, could you uh, elaborate on this? Yeah. Genitally speaking, no. <laughs> 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 that's the kind of answer we were looking for. Yeah. Okay. If not, that's all right. <laughs> but if not, the devil's about to sing. Yeah. yeah Can't top that question. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Is there anything that, that, that we have to ask you that you feel strong enough about to, to say? Uh, Why not miss the first part of the question? <laughs> Is there anything that we well, have to ask you <laughs> oh. that you feel strong enough about? <laughs> Oh, really? I still have too many deep, deep comments, Mark. Come on. Um, live life to the fullest every day. <laughs> Stop for a second. Live long and prosper. Look around. Oh. Look at the trees. <laughs> Is this bunching on onto anything rude at all? <laughs> Stop him Generally like speaking, no. Oh, sure. We're hoping for some sort of bottom to play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we want something moved out of this interview. I mean, <laughs> this is what we're looking for. Do you know, do you know what's, what's the best job that you know? The best job? A joke. joke. Oh, best joke. Best joke. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I haven't heard a joke in like joke. six weeks. Nobody tells us jokes. I had a good one before I left. You did? Yeah. Uh, what did you do to it? Do you have any good jokes? No. <laughs> That's why we asked you. <laughs> no, this is this is. Oh, I got a good one, but it's kind of 
Move. Move, look at what we're doing. Look at what we're both throwing. No, we don't need that. Do we want the racist job? No, I think we do. Yeah, let's incriminate them. I do realise if you say the racist joke, it would go down the Z and go down on that photo camera. See, and it would die be, in England. And it would be a joke in racism. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I save the guys here? I don't know. No, no. I don't have any jokes. I don't know any jokes. Are you kidding? I don't have any jokes. Right. Uh, I've never known a joke in my life. Do you think life's a joke? Yeah. Life's a joke? Anything you'd like to say about any other members of the band which could be um, incriminating or sexually yeah, deviant yeah, in any way? Maybe not a member of the band, but that sound man. No, nothing. No, no, no. Say, well, <laughs> no, no. Brody's kind of. But the, the Curtis is a bass player sometimes. I can go against him. Is that still rolling? Okay, I won't say anything. No, 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 no. I'll go. Chai. No, we actually all get along pretty good most of the time. Actually, we don't. We don't. No, actually, we don't really argue very much. We don't argue enough. Actually, is what the problem is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we We want some juicy gossip for the scene. You know, some, something um, to drag out. We want some juicy boots. You know. yeah, couldn't get it out of us. Couldn't get it us by. Couldn't get it out of us by asking about genital diseases. Is this, is this the, the star of fanzines? <laughs> no, no, Dave pretends to be. It's quite, it's quite embarrassing, really. No, I don't know. Juicy gossip. We're just a bunch of guys that don't do a hell of a lot except for play, yeah, rock and play rock. some rock and roll. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We're twins, did you know that? We're twins. They're juicy gossip. Twin. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's a little joke. And our drummer's a twin too. But not a twin with us, but he's a twin. And our sound man's from the Twin Cities. <laughs> what are the Twin Cities? Uh, Minneapolis and Tacoma. Right, okay.